Hey everyone, so this is day one of my skin needling. I had skin needling yesterday morning and I'll just do a close up of my skin. So my skin is really like swollen. My, look how fat my face is. No. <laughs> um, it's so swollen, it's itchy, but that's a good sign. A sign that my skin is recovering, healing. I have really bad hay fever, so apparently if you have hay fever, um, your allergies are just really going to react. You're going to start itching. I've had like a runny nose all morning. Yeah, so my skin is itchy, it's swollen, it's all scabbed up. Like I love the results of skin needling, but the downtime is just excruciating. So yeah, that's my skin. It's all scabbed up. It's really like scabby, rough texture. Obviously I've had discoloration there. So see how it's gone quite dark? So that's going to peel. I'm not going to touch that because I don't want to scar myself. I had derma needling done with a derma pen. So yeah, that's it there. I am in a little bit of pain. Like it's just tight. I had one deep wrinkle there. I feel like it's gone. I just need more time. Look, I'm just going to wait until all peels and then I'm going to give you just a feedback of how it went but um, not, it's not finished yet. I'll probably do another um, update in maybe a couple more days and I'll let you know how my skin is. But um, I feel like where I've had discoloration, it's gone down and I feel like that's going to peel first. Or wherever I have discoloration, it looks almost bru like bruised. It looks weird. Yeah, so I'll give you an update. Yeah, like I said, it's really itchy. It's flaking. It's tight. I feel swollen. Like, like my face is so fat. Around. Like, my cheekbones are gone. What the hell? I will talk to you guys in a couple days. In a couple days. Okay, bye. Hey, everyone. This is day five post-skin needling. Um, I do feel much better. My skin is still a bit sore. As you can see, it is still a bit red in places. I haven't finished peeling yet, but as you can see here on my chin, like see how it's patchy? My skin, my skin tone has gone more even. Still a bit of have a discoloration here, as you can see, but um, that's still peeling. I just don't want to aggravate it and peel it off because I don't want to scar. Yeah, like I accidentally keep like scratching my face and it really hurts. So. It's still really sensitive, you know. It's peeled off so much layers of my skin on my face. I had really bad blackheads on my nose because I have very oily, acne-prone skin. That's gone. I'll just show you. Red. But yeah, I had really big open, uh, big pores and blackheads, but they're going. As you can see, my skin is really patchy. Like, look at that there. Like a whole bunch of skin, like, I woke up with like all this flaky skin on my chin, um, washed my face with lukewarm water and a bit of mild soap cleanser. The downtime was really hard because I couldn't wear makeup for a week and I just I couldn't sleep properly on my pillow. Yeah, the complexion is so much brighter. I had really uneven skin tone and like this patch of just brown on my chin before. Like I feel it's yeah, I was Hi babe! One sec. Hey guys, so it's been 10 days since I've done my skin needling and this is my skin. So it has perfectly healed now. I can use my active ingredients. However, I still do have a little bit of discoloration. As you can see, I have no makeup on, nothing. A little bit of discoloration still under my lips and on the sides, a little bit here and there from when like I never used to wear sunscreen. I know. Uh, but I didn't expect everything to go in the first session. So I'm still going to be getting uh, my skin needling session. I'm probably going to wait another two months till I get another one. But overall, I really love my complexion. As you can see, my complexion is more brighter. Uh, pores on my nose. I've always had like a really big problem with blackheads and pores on my skin as I have very oily skin, acne prone skin. As you can see, they have calmed down a lot. You can still see them. I still have them. 
but they are definitely not as congested. And I got that cut out if you're wondering. In the last video you could have seen like a little blood vessel here. I got that cut out. So I'm really happy with it. Will I get it again? Absolutely. I'm I'm so happy with the results. Just my skin looks brighter. I had really bad discoloration here. That was more dark, like it's it's less now. I'm really happy with the results. I waited probably yeah two weeks ten days to two weeks to for it to really come down till I actually can use my active ingredients. Now I'm starting to use I'm going back to using my vitamin C in the morning. Um obviously a week after my skin healing I couldn't use a vitamin C it would just sting my face so I really had to uh, wait quite a while until I could use my active ingredients so I've gone back into my normal skin routine now waiting for it to go back to itself which it, ha it has but I'm probably just going to wait another probably a month or two till I get my next session of skin needling but overall I am so happy with the skin needling results acne like um, I just feel before the skin needling, I used to get a lot more pimples here on my chin area. I'm, I'm getting less. I don't know if that's from the skin needling. I don't know. Or my hormone levels have gone normal. I don't know. But I am getting less pimples. My discoloration is gone. That was a, the main thing that concerned me was my discoloration. I was really insecure about it. But, like, I would go out like this. Like, I'd even need um, makeup. Like, maybe I'd hold, put a bit of makeup under my dark circles. But I'm really happy with that. Like, as you can see, looking back at the... um vlogs that I was, I was looking at them I was in so much pain but now I mean it's fine I've gone back to my normal self yeah will I get skin needly again absolutely I just love how uh, brighter my complexion is my pores have gone small discoloration is going I mean it's not completely gone as you can see I've still got some there but mind you guys it was really dark under my mouth because the mouth moves the most when your mouth moves you get dry spots and then um your skin overproduces melanin so that's why you get all that dark around your mouth that was my vlog on my skin needling hope to see you guys in my next video and hope you guys like that thanks bye